You know, so this is Dr. Glenvo here with Dr. Nissa Holmes and Sandy Pardue from Classic Practice Resources. And you know what? I was just talking to these ladies here about uh, what my wife was telling me before I left. You know, she was kind of complaining about, you know, folding some clothes. Hey, why don't you help out? You know, she was really stressed out about, you know, my son's going to start a private school and she's going to have to cut a couple of hours out of her day, work day, to go pick up the kids. And then these ladies just busted out decluttering. <laughs> What'd you call it? Decluttering. Decluttering your life. Decluttering your life. You know, so, so my wife is a dentist and I just told them and they were telling me, you know what, your wife's your wife's time is a lot more valuable than folding some clothes right. and picking up my son mm -hmm. from private school and where she wants to cut a couple of hours out. So I talked to them. Sandy started busting out. Okay, you know, you got to get the checklist. You got to get all these things. And so we, um, our family, we have a housekeeper that comes every other week, helps out. She loves, she always tells us she loves taking care of our family. And so obviously she wants to do it more. And so they were saying. Right, so Glenn. <laughs> Yeah. Then Tess says this lady comes every other week. And I'm like, can she come every week? I was like, I think she could. Right. I think she could. And maybe every day. Right. And, that's what the, and, then, and then Anissa asked me. I was she? like, does she drive? <laughs> <laughs> right. uh, and I asked, has she had a DUI? No, she's been with our family for seven years. Okay. She always <laughs> says she loves taking care. We are so nice to her. And I'm like. And she takes care of other families as well, but she says, you guys are so nice to us. And so we started thinking there, well, you know, why not make my wife's life easier? Exactly. So I'm like, okay, so this lady, this is what she's going to do. She's already coming, right? So if she can come in in the morning, there's a list there on a little whiteboard of all whiteboard. of the things that need to be bought from the supermarket. She can put the clothes in, in the wash, go to the supermarket, come back. The clothes are clean. They're ironed. There's food in the fridge, right? Yep. And that gives your wife so much freedom because when she's home, she can spend time with the kids. I mean, a whiteboard and checklist, that's what I do in my dental practice. Right. So you guys are saying, do this in my house. Absolutely. It's just part of delegation. But the problem is with most people, what they want to do when they start to delegate is they want to micromanage. So what she'll have to do is figure out everything she wants to delegate. Then she needs to put it in writing. Okay, she can put it on the computer, she can print out a checklist, whatever, but she's got to take it out of her head. So it's going to start with, I mean, I kind of like having an actual list of groceries, the the basic right. things that you guys buy in your, in your household, and you'll need to put name brands and quantities on the checklist so that your wife can just go down and <laughs> mark what's needed. It could be color of uh, tissue right. or anything like that. It's, it's decided where there's no questions. That's the thing. When you organize something, you do a couple of things. You put like things together. So when she makes a checklist, she's thinking about the layout of the grocery store. So she's thinking about the name of the store. Okay, that's included too. And where you want her to start, which aisle. So the list follows the aisles in the store. <laughs> now, I'm it. serious. This is how you have to think. And then she goes and she gets a Dymo label machine and she labels her pantry, her freezer, and her refrigerator so that when you come home, you're not looking for the mayo and mustard. <laughs> it's always in the same place. So when you organize, you buy yourself time. And her time is very valuable. She's a dentist. But right? the thing about it is that this lady, she's been with you for seven years, so she probably knows That's where things awesome. are. So in order to save your That's wife time, awesome. I would have her to create that list. That wow. would be right? even better. Right? Yeah. Have her to actually take images of where everything is now. I love it. So that's where she always, because a lot of times we get stuck when we have to create those checklists. That's right. So you can delegate those checklists. It's just like, it's just and like she a, approves it. It's, it's just like in the dental practice. Yeah. Right? Mm -hmm. Right. So. Uh, you know, Anissa, each time I talk to you, you know, that's actually how I started delegating things for Nifty Thrifty. I was, you always tell me, Anissa always says, I have a guy for that. I got a guy for that. <laughs> I got a girl for that. So for someone busy like you, Anissa, who, tell us how you delegated everything out of your, your busy life to, to get more time back. Right. And I can tell you, I always talk about time with family as being really, really important. Right. And I am a mother. Right. I'm a mother first and a wife first before anything else, right? And how do I get that time? And I can tell you in my house, I have a lot of people that do help me, right? Mm -hmm. So I have someone that cooks for us. I have somebody that cleans and does, goes to the supermarket, goes to 
goes to the dry cleaners, and I have someone that picks up my kids. Now, what that does is it allows me that when I get home, I'm able to spend time. I don't have to worry about folding clothes, and I know the value of my time, and I know that I could certainly be doing those things, but what I'm doing is I'm providing an opportunity to have a job for someone so that they can take care of their families. In fact, one of the ladies that started with me and who now drives for my, my kids, um, she now, I actually pay for her daughter to go to college. She's a part of our family. Mm. She picks up the kids and she's a second mother. She now has a car of her own. So wow. I've been able to really help this lady, but she has helped me more than I've helped her, right? And so I, I think it's really important. A lot of people say, oh, you have people. Yes, I do, because they make my life a lot easier and I'm able to help make their lives even better as well. And so that's the thing, you know, in terms of picking up from school, what's really cool is that there's a time that they need to be picked up. Maybe it's three o'clock. Well, maybe they have an activity at four. My daughter has music every Tuesday at four o'clock. And guess what, I'm there. But I don't have to rush out of the office because the Tuesday is the day that I'm actually all day in my office on Tuesday. That's my long day, right? And your time's valuable. It's very, yeah. right? But she picks her up from school at three o'clock and she takes her to music. And then I leave my office and I go straight to music. My daughter is there. So if I'm running late and I'm 10 minutes late, I still get to watch her play her viola for 50 minutes. Mm -hmm. But I didn't have to be under stress, which I don't like stress, mm -hmm. to try to make sure I get her from school at 3 o'clock. This lady has saved me so much time and have given me, me back that time with my family. And that's, I, I feel, I know your wife is a dentist as well. And it's a struggle as a mother because you feel like you have to do all of these things or as a woman, I have to fold clothes, I have to, I have, but you don't. You know, if you are in a situation where you can afford to, to delegate that task, you get back your time with your family. And, and yes. to me, that's what's most important. Yeah. And your mind is clear to be able to produce more and do the things you want to do. Definitely. So everybody has to do that. But for those of you that are listening, you may not have that person yet. Right. I mean, you're, you're very fortunate, Glenn. Mm -hmm. Anissa has that person and Glenn, you've got someone in mind. So, you know, that person and you're going to trust that person. But the listeners might be thinking, how will I ever find this person? So that's something that they have to think about. And once they do, they need to interview them. They need to let them meet their kids. They need to do background checks. They need to do an application just like they would for an employee. I would even do a credit check. You've got to know this person. Yeah. You know, it's uh, you know we're here at this event. There's so many like high-level thinkers here, really motivated people who do really well in their practice, right? But yet, they the time management at home. I mm -hmm. mean, I'm I'm talking this with you guys here. My wife was prepared to cut down an extra two to four hours a week in the op, Gosh. just to go pick up our son yeah, and do all these things. When you know she's making about seven hundred dollars an hour. You right? could you could afford a live-in. Have yeah. you ever thought about that? Yeah. You well, could have well, a live-in. Well, maybe not yeah. go that far, but but so so it's just an eye-opener when you really right. think about that. Because we look, we our heads are in the practice, like okay, I got to produce this. Amount. Yes. But then when we get home and we're doing these other things, instead of really spending quality time with our family, and we feel like oh, okay, I don't want to spend clothes. that. You're folding clothes, <laughs> right? Or so, thinking about where the kids need to be brought the next day. Or there's the, a birthday party. There's a this. So there's right, yeah. right. Got to get the gift. Got to get you know. Get and, it and so actually, I'm really looking forward. So now uh, she was like, okay, you're going. To, you're speaking at this event. You're doing some CE. But I'm gonna come back and say, honey, um, your day's <laughs> off. You're just gonna go get a massage. All this other. But what Sandy did say though is, I want to include her. Right. I'm not gonna go there and just. So I'm gonna have a conversation there. And she might say, you need to go to this event every year. Right. <laughs> right. Yeah. So. But, uh, but that's a conversation we had, yeah. guys. Um, but, you know, one other thing that Sandy, the point that she made, I've always had people help me, okay? When I was in dental school, I had a lady that came to my house once a week and cleaned my house, did the deep cleaning, right? Mm -hmm. So the toilets and all of right. those sort of things once a week. When I was in dental school, okay, um, and I had a different lady who would come once a week and wash clothes and iron, right? So it doesn't have to be someone doing all of these tasks. It can certainly be, and it doesn't, you don't really have to pay someone that much money to sure. do all of this. Anyone who's listening can certainly, I would imagine, be able to get somebody in yeah. one day a week to give them hours back with their family. It, yes, it's so and it's it. a way of thinking because time is our most valuable mm -hmm. asset. You can't buy any more of it. You can't make it. And uh, you have to make the most out of every day. So I think that's a message that everybody has to think about. 
So there you got it. Declutter your life. Right? Yeah. How do you Absolutely. Your life? <laughs> How do you declutter your life? Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Thanks a lot, guys.